Hello everybody, I'm here today with the great and powerful Connor Martin Bowler. This guy's a phenomenal bowler. I've been watching him for a long time. I've seen him through some of his championships and I'm, I'm really excited to be doing this interview with him today. So Connor, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Connor. I uh, bowl a lot and I have a lot of fun doing it. And today we're gonna be doing an interview on uh, some of, uh, a lot of maybe some questions people have and my brother's gonna be asking me, so here we go. All right, so Connor, why don't you tell me what made you want to start bowling? What really got you fired up? What what made this be the sport that you wanted to pursue? What was it about bowling that really caught your eye? Well, it was actually my mom's idea. She okay. wanted me to get me uh, into bowling because uh, it was like summer of 2016. I didn't really have a lot to do. And she's like, well, I need to do something. And she's like, okay, we got to get you to do something. And there it was, you know, I started bowling and I started loving it. Yeah. Ever since then, I've found a passion for it. So you really just happened to develop a passion for this thing that you just you just went out on a whim and you said, "All right, let's give this a go." And yeah, it happened to be your thing. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So, is what is it exactly that keeps you bowling? Then is it do you get excited watching your scores go up? Do you like to you know analyze the game and see what you can do better? What, what is it about the game that keeps you so tied into this? Definitely a lot of analytic stuff. Uh, Right. Going into like games, you know, preparing myself, you know, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do that? Right. And just like seeing my scores progress and just having a lot of fun with it. Yeah. So, so have you been keeping track of your career average as you've kind of gone through these bowling yeah. seasons? Yeah. So what is it now compared to, you know, back in the day when you were first just starting? <laughs> That's a good question. It's definitely a lot lower than, or it's def it was definitely a lot lower back then. Yeah. And today it's like a 140 and like where I'm at right now. So wow. Yeah. That's awesome. And so I'm sure you weren't doing that well when you first started out, probably closer to like an 80 or a 70 or something yeah. like that, right? Yeah. I was definitely a rookie though at it. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> for sure. And so now yeah. that you've had the practice, you're looking to go up. So what's your goal for this upcoming season? You try to bump that to a 150? Are you shooting higher, like a 180 or something like crazy like, like that? Like the next season? Yeah. This next upcoming season. What are you thinking? Uh, we're definitely shooting for like a around like what I have maybe a little higher. So yeah, just yeah, to, just to stay consistent, you know. Yeah, being consistent and trying to keep keep up in your game every season. Yeah, that's awesome. All right. So when exactly was all this started? How old were you? What what was going through your life at the time? You know, I was like twelve and a half. You were twelve and a half when you started. Okay. Yeah. So do you know if that's considered kind of late to the game of bowling, or is that early, or when do most people start? Do you have any idea? I'm not really sure. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so 12 years old when you started, and so now how old are you? 17 and a half. So you have five years of this game under your belt already, and that's almost that's that's almost a third of your life. That's a, that's a good chunk of your life has been, yeah. you know, committed to this game. Yeah. Wow. So what is it going to take for you to, you know, continue in this bowling journey? What's going to keep you invested? Um, definitely practicing a lot, definitely putting all that game preparation into it, and uh, doing the best I can to just see where I'm at. Wow, okay. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. So, what would you consider your biggest strength? That's a really good question. A lot of people ask me. Um, probably just uh, relaxing, trying to relax, you know, take my time when I bowl, and just go with the flow. So, that's your biggest strength, is when you go up there, you just kind of enjoy the game and, and go with the flow? Yeah, and just do the best I can and give it everything I got. All right. I think I my like accuracy that. has also gotten better, too. So yeah. I'm just working and practicing a lot. Of yeah. It. So you're accurate. You bring your A game every week, too. Yeah, I do the best I can, yeah. I like that. So what would you consider to be your biggest weakness? I mean, I begin a little nervous sometimes. Oh, sometimes. In certain situations. Yeah, you get a little nervous. Palms get sweaty kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So what are you going to do to not let that slow you down in the future? How are you going to combat that? Because that's, that's something that a lot of people deal with. A lot of people get that stage fright. They get nervous, sweaty palms, you know what I mean? So what are some things that you think you could do to, to try to defeat that? I'd probably just take my time bowling one ball at a time. I, one of my coaches told me in my text one, bowling league. One ball at a time? Yeah. I like that, man. Yeah. So you're just focusing one frame at a time. And it makes yeah. sense, you know? Yeah. If you just keep bringing your best frame again and again, yeah. it'll add up over time. Yeah. I like that. So one of your coaches told you that, huh? Yeah. So tell me about your experience with coaches. How many have you had? Have you worked with a lot? Is there a specific one that's really affected your life? Uh, Coach Irvin in Texas, uh, he definitely helped me with my uh, my accuracy a lot more. I feel oh, wow. like, yeah. Okay. And I feel like uh, he's he made me a championship type bowler. Like, wow. Because uh, my first se Texas bowling season, I I got first place, so that was pretty cool. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. In the so, summer, like so, last summer. Yeah. yeah. So Mike Irvin, is that what you said his name was? Coach Irvin. Coach Irvin. I'm sorry. So, Rick Irvin, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so big shout out to Rick Irvin. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. So. 
Good to hear. Let's keep moving here. So why were you be able to become why were you able to become a successful bowler at such a young age? You know, what what was it that really, you know, lit that fire, lit that passion and brought you to a point where you're already winning championships at such a young age? Um, probably working out a lot, uh, getting into that, you know, particularly more the last year, even though I was winning a lot more before. Yeah. Definitely about practicing a lot. Uh, I'd say practice is the number one thing, uh, just getting oh, a yeah. lot better and uh, just trying to take it one day at a time, one yeah. ball at a time, yeah. That's awesome, man. <laughs> yeah. So how often do you practice? Is it a, a couple times a week, once a week, once a month? Uh, it just depends on how I'm feeling. Like, it's like, uh, just depends on how I'm feeling. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Oops. But it also depends on like going back to what I was saying, like when I like when I work out, like just depending on you know what type of day I'm working out, you know. Yeah. Just like if I'm working on a certain exercise, you know what, what well, what would be best for me to work out a certain day? Just trying to plan that all out. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. That so makes I don't sense. get too tired. Yeah. So just talk me through some of your typical workouts when you're in the off season, or even when you're in season. You know, what are what are some things you're doing to try to up your game? Um, just lifting a lot of weights, you know, doing nice. cardio, you know, yeah. just to get, you know, get my blood flowing and all that. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. So when you're lifting weights, what are you doing? You doing dumbbell curls? You doing overhead presses? What kind of stuff? I think it just depends on, uh, you know, what I'm up, what, 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 what I'm just working on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. It just depends on the day. I like that. Yeah. So what are your current accomplishments and what are some of the things that you're most proud of that you've already accomplished? Um... Just I've accomplished a lot in Texas, uh, getting that Texas Bowling League yeah. for first place with uh, a couple of my teammates. Right. Uh, winning several in America League, such as uh, No Bumper Champion uh, three times. Oh, wow. Getting no in, Bumper Champ three times? Yeah. That's awesome. And getting three gold medals for Frisco Flyers, okay. which is another organization I was in for a long time. Um, and then winning MVP one season. And yeah. And getting a, what was it, a... Super Chicken Award, just some things like that. Yeah. yeah, so you've got just this laundry list of different, you know, awards and things you've been yeah. given in this league, and so yeah. you must really put your all into the game. Yeah, that's awesome. A lot of passion. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, good. That's awesome. So, what's your greatest memory? You know, out of all of those things, and it could be anything. It could be a funny memory, maybe something you accomplished, maybe you know. What, what do you think? Mm, I think there's a lot of them, but probably winning that first America League champion. The, the first Miracle League Championship, and so yeah. what what year was that? Like That was like summer of 2017. Oh, summer of 2017. Even though my average was like a 77, it felt pretty cool to win, I think, yeah. for the first time. Yeah. You know, knowing I was the best for what I was doing, even though I, even though I don't think there was as much at the time, it was still yeah. cool to think, you know, I was number one in that category. Yeah, at yeah. the time you were bringing your best, yeah. Yeah. So that was back when you started, and you said your average around. was a 77. Yeah, around. And, and now it's a 140. Yeah. So that's huge. Yeah. That's almost double. Well, actually, funny enough, that was a 77, I think, that season, like, like yeah. when I won it first place. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. So you've, yeah. you've really made some leaps. Well, I think my average, like, I'm not sure to be exact, but it was probably around, like, when I started that. Yeah. And then it got progressively better and better and better. And then, like, the Texas Leagues, more specifically, going back to what I was saying, I had, like, two 120s in the Texas right. League. And then now I have a 140 there in my new wow, league. Wow, okay, yeah. okay. So I've, I've definitely so, progressed a lot. So what's your plan for when you're done bowling? And, and do you think you'll ever be done bowling? Is there a time where, where Connor Martin's going to be done competing? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's hard to say right now. Um, it's definitely something I've been considering. Uh, I think it just depends on how busy I get in life. But, you know, sure. You know, maybe I take off a few seasons and then I come back to it and get yeah. it even better, you know? Yeah, so just you're just trying to keep it kind of involved in your life regardless, right? Yeah, yeah. and just that's see where I'm at after maybe a few years. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. It's a couple of years. Yeah. So how, out of everything you've done so far, you know, are you proud of what you're accomplished? Do you want more? What, what do you think? I definitely want more, but I'm definitely proud. Yeah. 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 Well, that's good to hear, man. There's that's a lot left in the tank. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. So what exactly is it going to take for you to be a champion in this new bowling league that you're in? Uh, again, hard work preparation. Uh, just getting to know my like opponents better. Sure. You know, seeing what they're like. Sure. Maybe, you know, study them more, you know, study my tape more of what I've been doing. Right. Uh, exercising a lot because, you know, I plan to, you know, go on like a really good workout stretch. Nice. Over the off season, you know, probably getting healthier, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, all kind of things like that. 
Cool. So it yeah. sounds like you have quite the plan. Yeah. Awesome, Connor. Well, it was a blast talking to you, and I appreciate you, Thanks. Connor Martin Bowler. Thanks. Thanks for talking to me. You're welcome. You guys can check this guy out on Instagram at Connor Martin Bowler. Right. Yeah. Is there anywhere else people should look for you? Uh, also Twitter, and then you can um, buy the same name, and then YouTube by the same name. Okay, so all, all Connor Martin Bowler. Yep. I like it, man. All right, Connor. Great talking to you. Thanks.